known the purpose. You play for each other. If baseball and, is 50% uh, mental, when Brian Kane said, well, how many of you practice at 50% of the time? It hit me. I, I love having the kids in here. I, I know it makes for a longer day for them, but they're focused, you know. I mean, they're, they're high school kids, and, and they like to goof around and stuff, but when, when we get to the, the things that are meaningful, they're focused. That's what the culture is set. We know what we bring to it, and we know how we get down because we know what we're working for. When and they the get to a point, everybody's a good player. It's the guys that can think the game, that can control their emotions, that that understand their body and their feelings and can get in touch with all that, that are able to play longer and play better. It's something that Coach Andrews and Coach Amp do for us, and it really prepares us uh, for adversity out on the field and uh, helps us with breathing tactics and see like motivational stories. For us, after our mental conditioning, when we were playing the number one ranked team with the Gatorade Player of the Year on the mound, in the first inning we went down two to nothing quick, and most teams would have just given up at that point and said, oh, we're done for, but that didn't matter to us. It didn't matter who we were playing. Work on things in here like we can and can't control. Other things like routines. Very few teams out there, high school teams, anyways, do that. So it gives us an advantage. And uh, again, when your players feel like they have an advantage, they're going to play better.